Welcome to this video on the proof behind differentiation, which is something that you will need in Further Pure 1 and also something that you will probably need later in other Further Pure modules. But it's also quite useful to know if you're just doing A-level maths or in your, if you're in additional maths, just if you are curious genuinely to wonder like how differentiation works effectively. So we're going to give an example. We're going to take the curve y equals x squared. Excuse my bad drawing. Now, we know this, this is kind of the standard parabola you will draw. So you know that if x equals 2, y equals 4, x equals 3, y equals 9. Now, to work out the gradient of this line, you would do obviously y2, y2 minus y1, e over x2 minus x1. So we get 9 minus 4 over 3 minus 2, which equals 5 over 1 equals 5. So that would be the gradient of between 2 and 3. Now, what if you wanted to do something a lot smaller? Well, that's kind of the tangent between 2 and 3. But what if you wanted to do between 2 and 2.01? How would that work? Well, if we just draw this graph again very quickly, kind of more of a curve shape so you can understand. So that will be 2 and that will be 3. And as you can see, you can draw a chord to bisect them or bisect the line, which kind of creates an action. And the gradient between that line is 5. But if you want to do 2 and 2.1, we'll put that 2.1 there and a chord would look something like that, how would you find the gradient? Well, the same principle applies. And if you did the maths, then you'd probably find that the gradient is roughly equal to 5. And it's roughly equal to 5 every time. Now, the proof behind differentiation is actually fairly simple. And this is the final diagram we're going to draw here. Now then, this is quite a bad curve, so I'm going to redraw that quickly. But ultimately the curve shouldn't matter. It's more about what you actually know and how you apply it. So we're going to take a point which is x. Now we also know that point x has a y coordinate of x squared if of course it's if of course the curve is y equals x squared. Now we also know that an at another unspecified point along the curve then it would be x plus h because h would be the difference between uh, x and the new x coordinate and therefore the latter would be x plus h squared. Following fairly straightforward? Right then, let's actually go and solve this problem. So, here we have one x coordinate to x plus h, or sorry, x, x, x squared, and then we have x plus h, x plus h squared. Now, obviously, as we worked out the gradient previously, it's y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1. So the same principles applies. So what we'd have is that we'd have x plus h squared minus, well, x plus minus x squared over x plus h minus x. Now, if you expand x plus h outwards and you get x squared plus 2xh uh, plus h squared minus x squared over well, x plus h minus x, equals m, which then leaves 2xh plus h squared over h. This is cancelling everything down, so x minus x is 0, or get rid of it. x squared minus x squared cancels. So what you're left end up with is 2xh plus h squared over h, which equals your gradient. Now, therefore, you can simplify, obviously, to get 2x plus h. Now, as you can see, we have taken x squared and 
if you work out the gradient, it's 2x. So, as we remember, if you differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Now, obviously, we have this funny h. I mean, what's the h for? Now, the h is effect. If the h tends to zero, if h tends to zero, then we can effectively ignore h, and the gradient is 2x. Now, h is h becomes smaller and smaller the closer your points are together. This is why we say h tends to zero because the distance between your first x point and your second x point is so astronomically small. So that is the proof behind differentiation. A quick recap. As you can see, we've drawn y equals x squared, and I've given a brief description of how you work out the gradient between the two points on the line. And then that would be if, if like x was 2, and then the other x was 2.1. Then I've given a slightly better diagram, excuse the scribbles, uh, which is x, and then obviously y is x squared, and then your next coordinate is x plus h, x plus h squared. Now, to draw a slightly better diagram to illustrate this, we're going to do we're going to draw the final diagram of the tutorial, and we're going to take our two points once again: x, x squared, x plus h, x plus h squared. And as you can see, this will probably help you work. This will probably help make you see it a bit more clearly as it's a gradient triangle and you may be familiar with gradient triangles both from maths and physics but obviously now we have our x and x squared and x squared plus x plus h it's very simple we just find the gradient as is shown y2 minus y1 and then you should end up with 2x squared h plus h squared over h which makes 2x plus h and as h is tending to zero because it's infinitesimally small your gradient is 2x and obviously if you differentiate x squared it comes to 2x. Thank you very much for listening.